I want to talk today about uh, endometriosis. That's this word right here. Uh, endometriosis is something that can cause uh, very uh, severe pain that women have and can also cause infertility. Uh, what is endometriosis? Well, this is a picture of a woman's body. Okay, this is the uterus, these are the tubes, the white things are the ovaries. Endometriosis uh, can just be a little bit of red stuff um, outside the uterus. Basically what endometriosis is, is it's when tissue that resembles the lining of the uterus, which is where a woman has a cycle from, gets outside the uterus. We don't really know what causes it, but we know that people are genetically predisposed. The lining of the uterus, if this is the uterus here, and this is a cross section, this is the front of a woman, this is the back of a woman, the lining of the uterus is called the endometrium. That's why uh, endometriosis, uh, when the lining, when tissue that uh, resembles the lining gets outside the uterus, is called endometriosis. So, so the words are similar. So what endometriosis, the, you know, I saw a patient yesterday who's you know, 25 years old, and since she's 12 years old, she's had terrible pain with her cycles, requiring birth control pills. Sometimes she throws up. Sometimes, uh, you know, for five days a month, ten days a month. You know, even without a physical exam, it's very obvious that she has endometriosis. She's tried different things, such as uh, birth control pills or the NuvaRing or different types of hormones, such as uh, HSN, and it hasn't uh, resulted. In, it hasn't resulted in her feeling better. So I, I've scheduled her for an outpatient surgery called a laparoscopy, where uh, where very tiny incisions are made made on her tummy, and we put, uh, I typically will use something called a plasma jet, which is uh, which is made which is like an advanced laser. It's uh, we I use plasma energy to fulgurate any abnormal areas. Uh, I also commonly will perform a suspension of the uterus where I lift it off the back if a woman has back pain. And these can be done at the same time as an outpatient. A patient will typically feel, will need a few days off from work and will feel a, a whole lot better. Uh, the reason that this uh, evaluation for endometriosis is really important, even if a woman can put up with the pain, uh, the scarring inside her body since she's a teenager can also lead to infertility. The reason it leads to infertility is that if you have a process uh, inside the body that's causing pain and it's continuing without treatment, then it, you, you can form scarring where the tubes get scarred and the ovaries get scarred. And then, uh, then a woman, when she gets to that stage of life where she wants to have a baby, uh, she won't be able to. And oftentimes, uh, th these are patients that are in their 30s that haven't gotten treatment. And when we look inside, uh, things are a mess. And then we have to recommend that they go to uh, in vitro fertilization or have multiple surgeries. So uh, if you have painful periods uh, or painless sexual activity or back pain, and uh, even if you're used to it, you know, a lot of times women will have the symptoms when they're a teenager and then by the time they're in their 20s they're used to it and they just think, well, that's just my monthly, that's just my cramps. P people should be evaluated. I often see patients that have seen multiple doctors and, and doctors don't do a good enough interview uh, to really understand how much of patients have symptoms because women are tough. Women grow babies inside their bodies and um, go through a lot of pain in life, and their uh, women can handle a lot. But it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good idea. Um, as gynecologists, our job is to protect a woman's fertility so that when the time is right in her life, she can participate in the miracle of the creation of life, and, and that's uh, the essence of womanhood. So handling uh, the cramps and the issues uh, is, uh, and talking to your doctor about and getting evaluation for that is really important. Uh, um, have good communication and uh, we'll be happy to help you.